This is Mitch. Mitch has a problem. He doesn't have a girlfriend. Loser! We're here to help him through the journey of becoming a real man. Let's go. First off, you need to work out only your upper body so that you can look like a true tool. Such as Blake Richards. Zach Jones. Wait, wait, who put that on the cue card? And the man who broke your heart. Next, you'll need a phone. Such so as this one. Then you need to find a girl you have absolutely no feelings for whatsoever. Then you have to Facebook her, chat her, I am her, uvu her, and any other type of communication that you know of. Then you have to stop talking to her altogether and get into random fights about the stupidest things you could possibly think of or be irritated about. Over the span of eight months. Basically, drag the thing out as long as you possibly can. Rather than hanging out with your girlfriend or making plans, you should be at home every day playing Call of Duty. When she calls or texts you, you should be ignoring them. She loves it, I guarantee it. Oh, yeah, really? Um, oh, oh. You should make any excuse you could possibly make to get off the phone and continue uh, playing your game as if she does not matter. Uh, I, I'm really busy. I gotta go. Oh, um. Using homework as an excuse is always good. Uh, I got a lot of homework. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah. Love you too, whatever. Bye. Very nice. Random swearing at stupid things is great. Oh yeah, really? Well, your f***ing butt fungus is annoying. It's grossing me out. And it smells horrible. Next, you must learn how to pole dance like a fool. <laughs> also, on a side note, sagging your pants is a wonderful way to show off your underwear and attract the opposite sex or the same one. <laughs> Not really, that's gross. Just kidding, I don't want to be a sexist here. <coughs> Always be pissed at her. I hate you! But remember never to give a reason. I don't have to give you a reason why. Or at least not a good one. Because you're white! Make sure your girl can always make you a sandwich. Man, I'm getting hungry. Baby, make me a sandwich. Even if she's in another state. I don't care if you're in West Virginia. Send that to me. Make sure she puts the right condiments on it. I want ham, lettuce, cheese, some mustard, and wheat bread. She better not get it wrong. If you get this wrong, baby, I don't know what I'll do. She sends it. The package arrives. Mail time! You see the box is clearly too small for a sandwich. You throw it away, completely disregarding the fact that there could be a sandwich in there even though it's probably moldy from shipping for so long. You call her pissed. Baby, what did I tell you? I told you to get it right. You made it too small. And then you realize she sent a drink too. <laughs> this makes you chuck a little bit. At least you sent me a drink, baby. You drink it. It was delicious. Mm. It was good. It all turned out okay because you made yourself another sandwich. Except you had another girl do it for you. Because that's the kind of man you are. Always try to impress your girl and act tough all the time. Babe, you'll love this one. Ready? Oh! Man, why are you throwing the ball at me? Man, what's your problem? What you get pissed at? I don't have to give you a reason! Girls absolutely love it when you burp in public and then blow it in their face. Scrumdiddly umptious that is. <clears throat> Girls love it when you're confusing, so try to be as confusing as possible. Yeah, the party's down that street, you know, by the weird sign. And then you walk up to the house and it has like that doorknob, that one little cool looking doorknob. Girls love a man who can't be serious. Oh, your dog just died? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Never call your girlfriend beautiful, pretty, or cute, or any sentimental thing like that. They much prefer being called hot, sexy, or babelicious. Man, you're so babelicious. Yeah. Then you break up with your nice, cute girlfriend, and you say that you love her, but you don't really mean it. Yeah, baby. It's just not working out. I love you and everything, but it's just not happening. I don't have to give you a reason. Bye. You then call your slutty ex-girlfriend and hook up with her. They see you together the next day. Baby, you wanna go out? Oh yeah, we're gonna party. Now Mitchell is a real tool, I mean, man. He can go out and get any hot girl he wants and do whatever he wants to them. It doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah. yeah.